David, community is such, such an important part of your work. I was prepping for this by going back over a few of the things that you've written over the last decade or so in New Atlas or Atlas of New Librarianship from 2011. The theme of community runs all the way through that. Can you address that a little bit as you started to say, this is a summation of your work. Take that from Atlas and take it into the corollaries and lead us through that a little bit. Yeah, the, the Atlas itself came from a, a realization that we were looking at starting with social media when social media, when it was like, oh, my God, should we do MySpace in the library? Because I'm old. But when we looked at, you know, the explosion of Facebook and then Twitter and et cetera, the, the question was, is there a role for libraries in or with or for social media? And we really tried to take a library institutional approach to doing the analysis when we were sort of thinking about this and we found out it just doesn't work that the standard definition of libraries as collections and um, organizations and, you know, sort of things that happen to have some people within it is upside down. That really what we're talking about are people, in this case, librarians, working with other people, in this case, the community. And from that interaction, from the values and goals and from the, the, the understandings and the principles of librarianship, that's where a library emerges, which is really, that's encapsulated in, in sort of rule number three, which is the, the, or corollary number three, that a room full of books is a closet, but an empty room with a librarian serving the community is a library. It literally, you know, I was just talking, talking to a dean the other day, and they were talking about trying to get faculty back in, into the department, physically in the department after COVID, because, you know, according to that definition, we have a lot of closets in here with people not in there doing work and et cetera and connecting. And so, yeah, it, it, it starts with when you turn the focus around and say, how do we define what a librarian is without referencing the building, right? What's a librarian, whether they work in a building or not, whether they're working online, whether they're working in a for-profit setting, whether they're a consultant, what have you. That's what these things come from, right? That, that books are for use is great, but it starts with the use and whose use and the use is the community that's being served. And so, as you say, Paul, community sits at the middle of this um, and librarians are the interface between the community's needs, the solutions, and the solutions will develop into institutions or facilities or collections or what have you. So that's that's what it's trying to sort of take Ranganathan and interject the community and the librarians into it. and. That's where the corollary, corollaries really come from.